Okay, guys, let's get started on the kitchen. I like a clean place to cook in. It makes me feel good. And believe me, I notice when a guy's kitchen is like so not clean. I'm going to teach you how to take care of that little problem right now. We're going to start with the cabinets. Fill the sink with water and add ammonia at a 10 to 1 ratio. That's one part of ammonia to 10 parts of water. Now here's a tip. Never mix ammonia and bleach. It produces a noxious gas. So let's start on the upper cabinets. Go on, have fun. Wipe around the handles and anywhere else you've touched, you filthy beast. Wipe it, wipe it clean. Time to go down, guys. You're good at this. Get low and get those lower cabinets. Wipe, wipe, wipe them clean. Good work. Now rinse out your sponge. Let's do the countertops. Spray cleaner on the countertops. Let it stand for a while. Let the cleaner do the work. Then wipe it off with your sponge. Don't forget the splash guard. Remember to use the soft side of your sponge for this work. Let's get that stove top clean with our two-sided sponge. Oh, we're gonna need to play a little rough here, guys. Start by putting the grates in the sink to soak while we work on the rest of the stove. Take your spray cleaner and spray the stove hood and stove top. Mm, go ahead, use a lot. Okay, let's get at the outside of the stove hood. Use the soft side of the sponge here. Now, let's get some of that icky stuff off the inside of the stove hood. Go on. Get up in there. Now, let's get the stove top clean. Use the coarse side of the sponge on those tough areas. Don't be afraid to play rough. Don't forget to keep rinsing out your sponge. Be careful to avoid the burners. We don't want to get them wet. Before we mop the floor, we're going to sweep up that dirty, loose dirt. You can use the ammonia water in the sink, or fill a bucket and add a little cleaner to the water. If you have a stone floor, use a rag. Ready? Get your sponge mop wet and squeeze out the excess water. Work your way out of the kitchen. We don't want to walk across the clean, wet floor with our little dirty shoes. Here's a tip for you lucky guys with a dishwasher. Run a half cup of white vinegar through it once a month. Trust me. Time to make your table shine. 
spray a rag and the table with some furniture polish. Not too much. Polishing the table sounds like a small job, but having a clean place to eat really makes a big difference. Be a little aggressive on those really dirty areas. Get up under the lip of the table, if you know what I mean. We're not just polishing the surface of the table, we're cleaning the surface of the table. This is a little thing that is going to make your house a nicer place to live for you and the people who come to visit. Be sure to keep using the polish. You're going to like yourself better for it. Trust me. Candlelight and fine china always adds a little romance to dinner. And you know we love romance. First of all, paper and plastic are a no-no. Use a placemat or tablecloth for a softer look. Plate in the center. Napkin and forks on the left. Wine glass and knife on the right. You'll need a match to start a fire. And always remember to light the candle before we arrive, because everything looks better by candlelight. Now here's a concept most of you guys never think of. Vacuuming your couch. We want you to do it at least once a month to get rid of crumbs, beer cans, and pick up some extra change. It really impresses a girl when you vacuum your couch. How do we know? Believe me, when we're on the couch, we just know. Remove the cushions and get to work. Vacuum everything, especially if you have pets. Get all the surfaces. Back. Sides. And front. Take a long time for me, please. Okay. Let's put the cushions back. Zippers face in, remember? Get the cushions nice and fluffy. Good job. Let's straighten up and move along. Start up high when you vacuum. I mean, high as in up in the ceiling. We're knocking dirt to the floor, remember? Say goodbye to those cobwebs in the corner you may never have noticed. And if you actually have pictures on the walls, vacuum around them too, because that's where that awful dust just loves to collect. And don't forget the literary collection. Vacuum your bookshelves and books. Shake the dust off them. Make us think that you actually pick one up now and then.
Be sure to vacuum the shades or curtains while you're at it. We don't want to see a dust cloud when you close them. Work your way down toward the floor. Get the top of the furniture as you go down. Now, let's gather up all that dirt and dust off the floor. Work it, boys. Okay, guys, pay attention. If you want to keep your girl happy, you have to keep the bathroom really clean. I'm not talking about just keeping the lid down on the toilet. The whole thing, the mirrors, the floor, the sink, tiles, tub, and the rubber duck. Everything in here must be spotless if you really want to impress a girl. Okay, let's do it. First, sweep the floors. For the tiles, take some liquid cleaner and a rag and spray the tiles. Let the solution stand for a minute and do some of the work for you. Then, take the rag and wipe them down. Make them clean for me. Get the fixtures clean. All of them. Ow. All right. We know that you guys all have crummy aim, so let's do this one right. Put some bleach in the bowl. Take your toilet brush and scrub hard all around. Get up under the rim. Now spray the entire outside of the toilet with cleaner, especially around the base and the floor. Take a rag and wipe everything down. All the surfaces. Top to bottom, boys. I said all the surfaces. Wipe down both sides of the seat and lid. Don't miss that nasty spot between the seat and the tank. Now really get down there and clean the outside of the bowl. The base. And the floor. All the way around. And yes, do put the lid down. Keep the mirror in the bathroom clean for me. I don't want to look at myself through dirty spots and smudges. 
Spray the mirror and sink area with cleaner. Take some paper towels and wipe them clean. Come on, work a little harder for me. Wipe the splash guard behind the sink and get the area around the sink. Now don't skip this part. It gets so dirty around the faucets. Go ahead, pick things up and clean under them. Now for the sink. If you have a porcelain sink, sprinkle some abrasive powder on it. If you have a fiberglass sink, use a liquid cleaner. Abrasive powder will scratch it. Clean the sink with the soft side of your sponge. Be sure to rinse your sponge when you're finished. All done. Ah, oh, I just love a nice bath. Don't you? Okay. Just take a sponge and some abrasive powder and scrub the tub inside and out. Get the powder all around and scrub up and down. Remember, if you have a fiberglass tub, use liquid cleaner. And be sure to rinse out the tub when you finish. There's nothing like a nice bath, and a nice bath means a clean tub. You don't want to have company in a dirty tub. And that's that. Time to make the bed. Start by getting a clean bottom sheet on the bed and putting a clean top sheet over it. Now I'm going to teach you how to do something really special. Hospital corners. Go to the bottom corner of the bed and pull the sheet taut. Pull the bottom corner of the sheet up to the mattress. Tuck it under the mattress. It's really going to impress your girl when she sees it. If you have a washing machine, wash the sheets when you first start cleaning your house. By the time you're ready to make the bed, the sheets will be clean and ready. Make sure that the large seam of the top sheet is face down and at the head of the bed. Now, turn the top sheet down and smooth it out. There's nothing like clean sheets. Spread out your comforter. Take the time to make it nice. Now the bedroom is a special place for me. I like a clean place to sleep, don't you? Keeping a clean home is about you feeling good and making those around you feel good about you. Put up your pillows. Now this is how to make a girl very happy. Okay guys, let's dust. 
Dusting can be so much fun. And you look so cute with the duster. Remember what we are doing. That's right, knocking the dirt to the floor. Start at the top and work your way down. Pick things up and dust under them. Women just gush over family photos, especially you as a baby. So be sure to display them. Get all the surfaces. You're going to dust all the furniture in your home. Make it a habit. Come on, just do it.